Hello, hello, you guys. It's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time, I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this review. Reviews, actually. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome on back. You guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, the weather's starting to warm up a little bit out here in Michigan. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I hope you guys are all hanging in there with quarantine. Sounds like things are loosening up a little bit, so I guess we're just taking it day by day. I'm just happy we're starting to get nicer weather. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're gonna be talking about two different candles. Um, these are not candles that are new. They, I guess they're relatively new. I believe they came out in the past several months, um, or at least in the past, I think these came out in 2020, if I'm not mistaken, um, or maybe end of 2019. These were actually Mercari purchases. So today I'm going to be doing mini reviews on the Homeworks Blackberry Tres Leches candle. And I also picked up a Voluspa mini French toast candle. I know a lot of you guys do resell candles, purchase resell candles, whether it's Mercari, eBay. I know there's a host of other websites. So I did just want to hop on here and give you guys my thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into today's reviews. First up, you guys, we're going to be talking about the Homeworks Blackberry Tres Leches candle. I obviously only purchased just the one. Like I said, this was a resell. But just so you guys know, this actually originally came in a set. Um, there's, of course, the one that I have in front of us. But there was also one that was like a goldish cream packaging, same hobnail packaging, except it was a sugared vignette. I believe is the pronunciation. Um, from what I've heard, it was just like a really sugary, yummy type fragrance. Both were available online at Mercari, but for whatever reason, the sugared vignettes were a little bit more. Um, it sounds like people may have liked the sugared vignette a little bit more. Not sure if it was a little stronger. Um, when I did purchase this candle, the Blackberry one, I went into it thinking that it was going to be a little bit of a light thrower. At least that's what I had heard. Someone had told me that, um, so I was going off of that. But from the feedback you guys have been giving me on Instagram, you guys did not have that experience. Um, and, and I didn't either. I was so um, surprised and happy and impressed with the performance of this candle. I kind of wish I would have got two of them. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful candle. Let me read you the scent notes and then I will give you my thoughts on Blackberry Tres Leches. The notes include juicy blackberries, sponge cake, heavy cream, and vanilla bean. What do I get from this candle? To me, this really truly just smells like a, almost a blackberry pie slash cake hybrid. Um, to me, it's very reminiscent of like a toned down, like raspberry pie with a little bit more of a cream vanilla component. Um, it's a little bit lighter, softer than like say Berry Waffle Cone from Bath & Body Works. I'd say the Blackberry Tris Leche still has that bakery, berry type vibe going on. But if you remove the full on pie note, you kind of get a little more of like a cakey, little bit of a vanilla and cream. But I would say the main notes of this are definitely obviously a blackberry, like um, a sugary pie filling blackberry with a little bit of like a smooth vanilla cream. And to me, there's even a little bit of a bakery, cakey type component to it. Um, really, really beautiful, really perfect for the spring. Great to pair with, you know, for me, I'm gonna pair it with um, a lot of my different Bath & Body Works candles and some of my other Yankee ones. So for me, would I repurchase this one again? Yes, I absolutely would. I, I hope they bring it back. Um, I think it'd be great if Homeworks would offer two packs of these ones instead of pairing it with another scent. So far, let me show you the burn. This is my third burn, so it's just pulling out. Burn, no issues. Um, the wicks on this one, my other Homeworks candle, seem to have really, really tiny, let me readjust, really, really tiny wicks on it. Um, and it would almost nub out and kind of had issues burning. This one, the wicks are a little flaky, but they're not as bad and they're not turning in as much as the other ones. So, so far, once I light this thing, no issues. Um, the throw, one to 10, 10 of course being, you know, incredibly strong. This was a solid, I said originally on Instagram, six and a half, probably almost a seven, seven and a half. To me, the scent itself is not is not an intense, strong, insane, in-your-face scent like say Berry Waffle Cone, 
The scent itself is a little more muted, but it's still strong on its own, uh, if that makes sense. The scent really carries. So for me, this would be another purchase. I absolutely love the scent and I'm really glad I got it. If any of you guys have burned Blackberry Tres Leches or if you guys purchased the original set of them, comment down below and let me know which favorite of yours was from the two-piece set. All right, you guys, moving right along, let's get into our Veluspa candle. And I just had to throw this one in here, moving on to the Veluspa. This is the Veluspa French Toast Candle. Um, it just sounded really yummy and interesting and different. Uh, fun little novelty scent, so I had to grab it. These are um, a little bit of a smoother wax. I didn't realize how like pliable and soft the wax is on these candles. It looks like it says hand poured cocoa wax. I wasn't sure how the throw would be on this one. To be honest, um, like I said, this was a Mercari purchase as well. Um, when I opened up the packaging, I it, it did not smell like I expected. I almost thought someone had burned it and then like re-poured it with a different scent because it almost smelled like a syrupy, a little bit of like a very, very, very faint syrup with a bit of like almost floral or something. I'm not sure if that's the type of wax that this candle is used with, so it just has that undertone, um, but I was hopeful. Uh, this is a smaller candle. I obviously didn't think it was gonna throw in a large room. I had it in the bathroom. I think this is my third burn on it my first burn and actually the second burn too i just kept it in the bathroom did not have any other fragrances going at all and um i couldn't smell it there was uh no scent it was almost it it, it wasn't even like lightly wafting or catching wafts of it i just could not smell it so maybe that's why this was on a resale don't know um even off the bat on cold the scent was very very faint i was hoping i'd get maybe a, a little bit of a lightness almost like say yankee candles um, belgian waffles or something in that vein but this this just was not it so if you guys are shopping on mercari or looking up blue spa candles and come across this and you think it sounds like a fun type fragrance to buy or to try I say just skip it, save your money. Um, I've heard good things about Veluspa. Um, I'm not familiar with them at all. This is my first time trying one of their candles, but I know for sure this one I would not purchase again. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's reviews. That's it for me today. Comment down below if you've tried any of these candles. Let me know what some of your favorite Homeworks candles are or those of you who have burned Velu Spa and have some favorites, comment down below and let me know which ones you guys enjoy burning. Before I sign off, I do want to let you know I'm on Instagram. So come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H underscore letter L. I use my Instagram to post a lot of upcoming videos, purchases, hauls, things like that. So if you're on there, come find me. And you guys, that is it for me today. As always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later.